more cold soup because everyone's pooping. Yo, what's going on guys? I know it's been a long time since I made a video. I just wanted to do a little update on the Trans Am. As you can see, I got a little hood there. I'll tell you guys about that in a second. Um, I've done a lot really. Just had a couple issues of not running right and stuff. I did do drilled and slotted rotors on all four. Uh, ceramic brake pads for a pretty good deal, so I said, why not? My back ones were cracked anyway, so. Uh, they stopped pretty good. Definitely worked better. Um, so I did that. Just picked up this hood like, mm, not even a week ago. I'm pretty sure it's OEM. Uh, it fits really good. It's just been plastic to black. Lines up really good. I didn't even adjust it or anything. I just uh, bolted it on and that's it. That's because my headlight cover is broken, but it's not the hood. Hood lines up really good. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's OEM though. Some people were saying it wasn't. It has an outline around the nostrils. Uh, the vents do pop out. They're held in by a screw. Which the aftermarket ones don't. Um, then underneath, it's painted pewter. So my thinking is that if it was aftermarket, who's gonna, you know, go through the time to paint it, the underside of the hood? But I don't know. And that is open as well for the Ram Air. And it's fiberglass. Yeah, I think it's real. I uh, got it for 300 bucks and my stock hood, so <laughs> can't beat that. It's not damaged or anything. Just has this plastic up all over it, but that's not a big deal. Uh, I am thinking about uh, dipping my whole car. Uh, I'm not going to say the color yet, but until I actually do it. But yeah, I was getting some codes after I got it dyno tuned uh, this last time. Uh, I got like a MAF air sensor code, knock sensor, a couple things like that. So I got a MAF from my buddy. Um, I got a couple from AutoZone, but none of them fit. They were all different sizes and it was just a big mess. So just got a stock one with some miles on it, but it works good. I just put on the outer uh, pieces because mine was already ported and de-screened and stuff. So I just needed the sensor really. Uh, so I did that, ran better. Well, what was happening was the car was dying after like 20, 30 minutes. It would just stall and misfire, run like shit. After it would run fine, though. So I did that. Uh, things were good. A couple days later, another code came up, so I checked it. It was for um, the driver's side O2 sensor. So I just went ahead and replaced both. Runs great now. I just took it for like a 30 mile spirited drive yesterday. Did really good. No issues at all. Full power was there and everything. So really hoping that fixes my problem. Uh, another issue. 
my shifter decided to break. So, it's always been like this since I got it. This is kind of stuck in there now, but this, uh, this little thing you push in, it would just come out on its own and stuff. And I went for a cruise with my buddies and uh, turned the car off, went to turn it back on. I couldn't shift. I was like, what the hell? So it ended up being this. I just took it off in some parking lot and drove it. Um, there's just like a little handle that you push down to shift. So I just did it like that for a while until I got this new one in the mail. It is actually a manual shifter adapter from Hawks Motorsports. It was like 25 bucks, and then the shift knob. Forgot where I got that from. I think it looks pretty nice though. Works good, so I might trim it down a little because it is kind of tall. But yeah, it works just like normal. You just push down on the ball to shift it. So uh, that's just a couple things I've done lately. And uh, I'll give you guys a little cold start here in a second. Probably gonna wash this car and uh, yeah, just clean it up some. This thing gets super dirty quick, so.